The Balloon Boy incident is one of the weirdest news stories in recent memory. In October 2009, a six-year-old boy named Falcon Heaney reportedly climbed into his father's homemade flying saucer-shaped balloon-like contraption, and it came loose from its tether and flew away from the family's home in Fort Collins, Colorado. Turns out, he was hiding in a box in an attic in the family's garage. The Heenies, who had previously sought fame on Wife Swap, made the news and talk show rounds to discuss the harrowing event and its happy ending, only for Falcon to blurt out on CNN that the whole thing had been staged. Yes, sir. We did this for the show. Mr. and Mrs. Heaney went to jail for a little while, and that was that. So what have the balloon boy and his family been up to since? Fasten your seatbelts because the balloon was only the beginning of the ride. Cross Country after the embarrassing stunt, things got a little too hot in Fort Collins for the Heaney family, so the family packed up and moved to Florida. They wound up in the town of Spring Hill, about 50 miles from Tampa. Why that particular area on the opposite side of the continent? Richard told CNN that Florida has a great energy. He also said the cost of living is pretty good, and that there's lots of work in the areas he wants to pursue, such as fixing up houses and flipping them, hopefully not 1,200 feet into the sky this time. The Heaney Boys it seems like Richard is always after the next media opportunity, and in 2012, his big idea was a family band. With dad as the manager and motivating force, the Heaney Boys formed in 2012. Their father markets them as the world's youngest, heaviest metal band. They're like the Partridge family, but with more screaming, and with more songs about World of Warcraft. At the time of this video, the band has self-recorded and self-released a few albums, including 2014's Finger It Out, which includes the very personal song Balloon Boy No Hoax game design. Apparently, the Heaney Boys are young men of many talents. In addition to writing and making music, they developed and released an original video game in 2015. In American Chili, the player controls a character driving through the desert between Las Vegas and Los Angeles, who is so tired that they're not sure whether or not they're hallucinating the monsters they have to fight, which include cactus people, aliens, giant ants, and other strange creatures. There's cactus people coming! Better leave! They shoot! There's needles! Each level of the free-to-download game includes original songs by the Heaney Boys, so it's kind of like a concept album as well as a video game, which absolutely nobody can figure out. Still Inventing when Richard isn't busy thinking about flipping houses or pushing his kids into the spotlight, he's hard at work building gizmos and contraptions. Among Richard's most recent inventions is the Bear Scratch. It's a big piece of wood that you can rub up against to scratch your back. According to Heaney's commercial, it's available for the low, low price of just $19.99. Can't find your back scratcher, huh? Well, there it is right there! Heaney also created Your Shakedown, a $179 tool that shakes condiment bottles for you. Your Shakedown removes ketchup, mustard, jelly, jam, Mayonnaise, shampoo, hair conditioner, car wax, and even peanut butter in just eight seconds! The Musical Falcon and his family have been honored in a way very few people have. Somebody wrote a musical about their lives, specifically the balloon incident. In 2014, Colorado teenager Billy Reese wrote the story, lyrics, and music for Balloon Boy the Musical. Young Playwrights Inc. called it a hilariously irreverent musical satire exploring modern-day America's culture of reality TV, meaning it pretty much makes fun of the Heenies and the media circus they created. The musical played at Colorado's Monarch High School before moving on to professional theaters, high school theater festivals, and the 2015 New York Music Theater Festival. Not a hoax Even after everything, Richard Heaney still insists the balloon incident wasn't a hoax, even though he pleaded guilty to knowingly and falsely influencing the Larimer County Sheriff. In 2015, the Heenies appeared on a Where Are They Now? segment on NBC's Today to discuss their claim to fame. Richard said he took the plea deal because he was worried his legal problems would lead to his wife's deportation to her native Japan. The threat of deportation of my wife was imminent, and so when that came on the table, I had to take the deal that they proposed to me. He also told Today that he wouldn't change anything about the experience because it directly led to the formation of the Heaney Boys heavy metal band and all the profits they bring in. We have gotten so busy with the kids that we can now uh, earn a living uh, having the kids go out and perform. Thanks for watching. Click the Nikki Swift icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.